my opinion. My opinion though, man, I mean, for the for what makes people dance, I mean, people, they dance based on their past experiences or their present experiences based on what they like at the moment or what they liked in the past or what they're going to like in the future because they're moving towards that, you know. Me, music, I mean, today it's just, you know, it's, it's changed, you know, I mean, it's just that so many people are into music for so many different reasons that uh, you just always have to ask somebody why they're into music so that way, you know, if you're in the right place, especially if you're a person like me that's artist and slash producer, you know, you need to be in a place where you feel comfortable with the people that you're with, I mean, it doesn't matter what music it is, I mean, where it is to you. Time ago, you would get a vinyl and just put it on a on a record player, and you would let the whole vinyl play. You know, you would listen to it because you're trying to do something in the house, whether you're cleaning up or something. But in the meantime, you're listening to the whole vinyl. Instead, today it's like, you know, you download a song, listen to it for two seconds. Oh, this is good. Put it on my iPod, and then you put it on your iPod, and then you forget about it. You know, you don't exactly absorb it, though. I mean, that's why I always take the time, especially if I love an artist. You know, I mean, everybody has done this. I think you know, just buy the CD and. You Find the time to sit down and listen to the whole thing. I mean, because that's what I'm saying before. It's just this art and expression and philosophy all thrown into the music. I mean, it's just that most people don't, you know, or most people don't have the time. I mean, I understand that too. Because, I mean, it's different jobs, you know, people have different jobs. But yeah, it's just, I mean, I just find it kind of sad, you know, and kind of, you know, bad that people don't, you know, take the time, the time for themselves, you know, I mean, that's what I feel like music is for me, it's like every time I, you know, start a new song or something, I feel like I'm taking time for myself to, you know, be myself, you know, it's like, I mean, and I can't be myself around regular people because they don't understand me, <laughs> so music, you know, that, that's what I so, express, you know, so myself. as an artist, do you, do you try to give a message first and then make a song about it or try to, like, project your art through a message or do you make the art first and then try to figure out what the message actually is and then trying to project that? Well usually I try to project a message first because if you don't send a message out I mean it's just going to sound like music and that's it. People are not going to like connect to it but on another, on another, that's what I'm saying, there's the business side and there's the, the actual people that love music side of, of music and stuff because if you go on the business side then you're just going to have to make whatever like you know but if you're on the artistic side and stuff which is a much more harder side which most people don't notice because they just think oh it's a song da, 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 and they just keep on going forward with their life they don't you know sit there and actually listen to detail that's what i mean that's why i keep on saying like the music now like is changing so it's becoming digital so the thing is that with the digital like if you can transport that into classical like if you get digital music and, and, and mix it with classical music i mean it would be a lot more vast you know, just depends on which sounds you want to use. I mean, that depends on the person, their creativity that they throw into that, you know. So, I mean, it's just a question of, yeah, kind of lost my train of thought, but what was the question again? Oh, it's, it's show. Sure. I'm just, it's yeah, cool. It's just, um, <laughs> what about, uh, you hear every weekend a kid dying from, like, overdoses or just drug use kind of stuff, like, do you, okay, do you think okay. it's necessary? Do you think it's necessary for people to to, okay, to okay. have fun in order to, you well, know, like, the, like I mean, or, I mean, it's just necessary for people to use drugs in order to have fun. Like, do you think that's like a rule in the in the world? I'm just saying, if the music is good, drugs or no drugs, it's gonna it's gonna touch hearts and minds and souls everywhere and bodies because it's frequencies that hit the body. You know, it's it's, it's almost like. If I were to scream at you right now, you know, it, it, it would create a different effect than me just talking like I usually talk like I'm doing right now, you know, so that's, it, it's just different, you know, sides of music, I mean, in, in the sense that, I mean, drugs and everything like that, I mean, the first thing I have to, you know, put the blame on, so to speak, but not exactly the blame, but just, you know, I need to explain this to certain parents, though, you know, it's just that, 
first you have to understand how each and every drug, or, or not every drug, but I'm just saying whatever drug you have to deal with, whether your kids are doing this or that, you know, and tell them that, you know, just like my father said to me, you know, I mean, because my father grew up poor, you know, he was in the middle of the ghetto, you know, so the thing is that he always told me, do whatever you want in life, but the consequences are yours. These are things that parents don't tell their kids. And their parents, some of them are totally strict, and they don't have any, you know, compliance or any connection to their kids because life is hard, you know. I mean, some kids are have their parents that are divorced and have problems and stuff. It's just that they don't never want to work it out. But that's the point. If you can't work it out because certain parents are messed up, I mean, that's where you have to take your own responsibility and respect in the sense that if my parents are broke up, you know, I mean, I've met lots of kids ever since I was small that had their parents that were separated, but, you know, they hold their own, you know, they're able to live by themselves because they trust in themselves, they believe in whatever they want to do in life, you know, they don't have to have, you know, this parent figure that sits there and says, hey, you're not good enough, you, you can't do this and you can't do that. I mean, I get enough for that in my day, at least, you know, but it's just a question of, you know, the parents and having a good connection with the kids so that the kids can be connected with the parents so they can talk to each other, you know, talk about these things, you know, I mean, explain, you know, what they feel when they're doing this or doing that, you know, but certain parents don't want to talk about that. I mean, and, and, and that's one thing. I mean, me personally, I've said, if you're going to do any drug in this world, just make sure you know what you're doing and that you don't start doing stupid stuff. And if you feel that you can't do it around people, do it. But just don't get lost in it, you know? I mean, you have to come back to real life and, 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 and try to figure out what's where you're going in your life or else otherwise you're just going to be sitting there and, you know, you're just going to keep on doing drugs. I mean, that's what parents need to tell their kids. I mean, and, and, and that's the problem, though. Some kids grew up without parents. I mean, I understand that, too, you know, because I grew up around a lot of kids that, do, that had parents that were divorced and everything and back and forth, so... I mean, and then there's the kids, though, too, because the kids, they get this their responsibility to, you know, come home at the right time, but not exactly the time that the parents want, because if you just got drunk or stoned and you have to drive home, or you're on any kind of drug, you can't drive home. I mean, call a taxi, lock your car, or move your car to a place where there's light, you know, in front of a bar, in front of a freaking, you know, in front, in, in front of a store or something where the lights are on and the cameras, you know, leave your car there, take a taxi, call somebody, you know, I mean, that's, that's the important thing. I mean, the important thing is that you stay alive. It doesn't matter how hard the people at the party are partying, okay? Because the thing is, that's what I noticed when I went to Ibiza, it's just, you either live and party how you're supposed to, doing whatever you want to do, whether it's drugs, alcohol, sex, or money, or whatever bullshit that turns you on when you go to those parties and stuff, but do it responsibly, you know? Just don't step over people's toes. That's fine. As for, as for like clubbing in general and like parties, like people, people tend to go to those parties, but they don't really know anybody and they're really like, it's very like dissociative. Like people don't really feel something. And then once people start going to like these parties, like regularly, they start frequenting like maybe like underground parties and maybe those people actually know each other a lot more, you know, do you think, do you think there's a spiritual aspect to underground clubbing or is there is there something more to it or, or less like what's what's your thoughts on the underground? Well, the underground is, is is a hard subject because there's so many factions, you know, there's so many groups of different. Because me, for example, I would go one night to, to a hard rock gothic party, and another night I go to a techno trance, you know, whatever drugs they're doing type of party, and then the next day I go to a rap party, and and each party that I go to it's because I like all the music that they're playing on each one of those parties, and, and, and the thing is, is that. I mean, I already know, I mean, me personally, I already know the world, you know, the, each world and in the sense, like, you know, each of those factions and stuff, but it's like, I'm just happy for certain factions that don't oppress people that first come in, you know, people that just started, you know, I mean, uh, I, I like it that the people that are already in the underground scene and stuff, like different, you know, factions of the underground are able to get somebody that's just coming in, I mean, someone that never came to the club or came to the rave or the party or whatever, you know, and, and, and is just able to make them feel at home, you know, and make them feel part of, you know, whatever they're moving towards, you know, because every person in the world is is, is responsible and, and, and every person in the world is, 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 is moving their life in, in a direction, you know, and, and it's good if you have a good direction, you know, not a bad direction, it's just, you know, you need to see who you're talking to, you know, obviously, I mean, that's why, I mean, I love Gothic. 
parties, you know, because I go to gothic parties, they don't, you know, assume anything at the beginning, you know, you, you get there and, and, and they're normal, you know what I mean? Most people think that they're crazy because they got tattoos and freaking piercings and this and that, but if you, I mean, have you actually tried to talk to them, you know? <laughs> Just walk up to them and just talk to them, say hi, do something. Just don't do faces, you know I mean? Walk up, I mean, talk to somebody. I mean, me, I go to so many parties and I talk to people. It's just, whether you make friends or not, or girlfriends or boyfriends or not, or, or whatever you want, but if you, I mean, you don't even have to have a relationship with these people. I mean, if you're able to sit there and have a good conversation, have a good time, and pass the whole night without having any problems, I mean, that's what I think that most people that are getting into the underground scene, like in a sense, especially new people that don't understand it, though, I mean, that they should just take it a little bit at a time, you know, don't don't rush into it, you know, don't take this fucking, you know, a million amount of shrooms or some shit and just throw yourself into the rain because you don't know what's going to happen because first thing, you never took shrooms, second thing, you never did acid, you never did any of those things, you never took cocaine, I mean, how do you know? That's the so, so for somebody who's never been to, like, an underground party or has never went clubbing, like, like how important it is to have a self image in a world where everybody's trying to be one with each other and not really try to like be something but just be part of something, you know? Like how important is self image in that that well, context? Me personally, I mean, because I'm an artist and producer, so self image, my personal opinion is based on what you do, you know? I mean and, and what you what you I mean not exactly what you say to people because you can say anything to anybody, but it's your actions that changes, you know, because me for example, it's like I still have to get my first music C D out. But the thing is that when it comes out, that's an action that I did, I threw it out onto the market. So the thing is that whatever I get from feedback, I'm gonna adore that, whether it's bad or good, because it's always publicity, you know. That's the whole thing, you know. I mean it's just yeah, I mean, but the same goes for when you go to a club, you know, I mean, you don't have to be the most popular person in the club, you don't have to be, I mean, it's just a question if you feel good there, I mean, if the club is not for you, go somewhere else, I mean, it's, it's, it's normal, I mean, it's like saying, there's a cliff over there and there's everybody jumping, I mean, do you have to jump too? No, it's like you can just say, you know, I want to go somewhere else where the cliff might be shorter, you know, or, the, or, you know, or, or at the bottom of the cliff there might be a lake instead of a canyon where people are fucking base jumping, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, if you don't take it to that extreme, I mean, it's just that people don't understand until you take it to that extreme, you know, so that's, yeah, I mean, it's just don't be afraid to go out, you know, just, you know, take precaution, you know, I mean, look at details, you know, just just pay attention to details, that's the most important thing, in my opinion, you know, because... Do, do you have any words of wisdom to guide the future clubbers and <laughs> ravers and underground, <laughs> you know, like... Okay... This is the most important thing. Get a job, first thing, please, people. Hold a job, okay? Just see if you can hold a job first and then see if you can be responsible enough to do whatever you want to do in a party, whether it's drugs or just, even if you not even do drugs, even if you're square, just go to a party and have fun. Just see if you can keep it, you know, within a timeline of, you know, during the week I'm going to work and in the weekend I'm going to have fun. I mean, that's one thing I don't understand how people can do. It's just that they just go through the whole life working all the time. I mean, it depends. Because me, since I'm a music producer and an artist, you know, I, I like to, to work on the weekends sometimes, you know, but that's if I have time, you know, because if people are calling me, my friends and this and that, you know, I'm just going to say, okay, uh, I don't know, it just depends on how I feel, you know, I mean, I, I really tell my friends, you know, whether I'm, I'm going to stay home and make some music or I need some alone time, you know, or else some weeks I'm going to go out. You have to be responsible for yourself. You can't, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying for the future generations. I mean, you have to be responsible for yourself, you know. I mean, you can't just, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Get a job. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. I don't care how crappy the job is, though, because I have a crappy fucking job, though, that's not even close to my music producing and everything, but I do it because why? Money. It works, you know. It's, it's, it's my hours are good, you know, and, and, and I can fit in the free space to do whatever I want. Whole, if you, you know, if you could describe, you know, that's all I gotta say. if you could describe the underground in three words, what would you what would you say? Cool, first thing, that's one thing. Uh, really relaxed, as opposed to what most people think, and um, community, because underground, real underground people have good community. I mean, and 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 that's the point. Just watch out for those bad communities, you know, bad people. Bad people that want to do harmful things to other people. I mean, yeah, I mean do unto others as they do unto you. Principle that is old as you know Plato.
you know, as old as you know, any other philosopher that came before. You know, if you had to name your top top three places for people to go to see the underground or even just experience like some form of clubbing or raving that's enlightened you or like you know pushed you in a in a good direction, like what what three places would you suggest? What's going on? Oh, I could put three places, yeah. Um, first of all, your hometown. Your hometown has an underground. It's just that you probably didn't, you know, look at it and, and try to figure out who is who, you know. Because in, 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 in normal people's, so to speak, daily life, um, if you're attentive to detail, you can tell if the people are on the underground. But it's just a matter of how they act and what they do and what they think, you know. But on the other hand, I mean, the, 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 the second thing, I mean, it's, I mean, the underground is like, wow. I mean, yeah, it's just. I mean, what was the question again? Because I got lost. And your top three places for people to to go and see oh, yeah, or okay. so the, so to go I, be enlightened okay. or changed. So, so the first one is, is, is yeah, your hometown. Uh, second thing is, um, are there traveling people? Like people that travel to different places, like to different parties and stuff to actually have fun. They don't care too much about doing drugs and everything. It's just that where they want to go is where they have the party, you know what I mean? And people have fun. It, it, it's a question of can you reach that place? Do you have the you know resources that is money or other things or I mean it doesn't have to be money. I mean even if you can take a train, you know something easy. You know just depends on where you're at though. I mean and, and, and find people that travel because people that travel have the best stories, have the best you know um, information about where to go and stuff because they travel. You know I mean that's this this people that you know it's really good to talk to people that travel. That's the second place where you can find a lot of the underground stuff and then. The third most important thing for, for, for underground, though, dude, if you want to find the underground, dude, <laughs> just listen to the music, you know what I mean? The, look at the art, you know, graffiti, you know, fucking tagging across the walls and shit, you know what I mean? Look at a city and look at the graffiti and try to figure out, you know, who wrote this, you know? who? I mean, it's beautiful, but, like, it's so street, you know, because it's, it's not something that's for an art display or something, but you have to... Listen to the music, you know, and follow the music, you know, go to where the music is going or, or where whatever you like is, is, go, is coming to, whether it's art, you know, because people can switch between art forms at any time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's underground music, tattooing, piercing, you know, freaking anything. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's a question of um, if you can, you know, connect to whatever art form it is. You know. Do you have any, any last words to say to all the current? Ravers and clubbers and underground goers from out from around the around the globe. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, man! Oh, was, the, the only thing I would say is big up, big respect, and keep it real. That's you know, keep, keep it uh, down to earth, and, and 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 if you have to go out in the space, at least have a direction. You know, I mean, have a heading, and then come back when when we need to keep you know the real stuff. You know, I mean family, you know, um, family and friends and, you know, keep it real, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah, you have to keep it real, you know? just keep it in perspective, you know, in, you know, in a good perspective, <laughs> if, yeah, okay.